Sheet metal was my livelihood, but I never thought I'd be building gear like this. Every week, we turn tons of steel into rolling works of art. Some of the toughest gear in the world comes out of this factory. Building this gear is only half the fun. No one tests like we do. My passion has taken my family to the edges of the earth. Life's a game. We know how to play it. Patriot Games. The last time we left our Patriots in the Simpson Desert, they were all recovering from a bogging that had kept them stuck in the mud for hours, draining precious travel time to the Fink Desert Race. Since recovering from the bog hole, the team has been driving through the night to make up time. We definitely don't need any more drama. We just need to get there, get this race car prepped and ready. Can we make a pact? No more drama. I'll make the pact, but let's be honest, it's the Simpson. I don't know if we can keep that. <laughs> well, well, look, well, you got to strive for something, right? Yeah. In life you do, mate. Yeah. In life you do. Everyone is eager to get out of the desert and into Fink. But who could miss the geographical centre of Australia? It'll have to be a quick stop for this crew passing by. The team's had a massive couple of days. It's just been astronomical crossing the Simpson. We didn't think it was going to be this hard. And we kind of figured, fading light, you know what? Let's enjoy it for one last night. Let's, let's forget about the GA Centre for tonight. Let's just have a nice night with the family. The boys have a beer around the campfire and um, tomorrow's another day. Again, you know, the Simpsons got us. We got to the hill. Um, you know, Justin said, you know, just follow me straight, it's a bit soft. So I went into a lower gear, um, too soft for the big ramp. We thought we're gonna have a pretty easy run out this morning and the, the Simpson Desert's definitely not done with us yet. Tommy's running down at 10 pounds, get this big rig over the dunes while it's towing. And he's blown, um, just blown a bead off a tire. Can't get enough leverage on that lever. Can't get the jack underneath it. The twins are going to get the other jack out. We're racing against the clock now. So hard. Um, I don't know if we'll make it back in Dallas again today. Yeah, starting the morning off like this, not even getting an hour into our drive this morning and uh, this to happen. Everyone is very, very upset. Um, you know, they're, they're very low. Everyone's sort of got a little bit of tension. Um, yeah, it's, it's just not, not an ideal situation. Have you guys pulled that other spare yet? We've only just popped the bead, we'll pop it back on. Just like that. Have you done the sidewall or not? Running a low pressure to get up all these dunes is a given, it has to happen. But there's always a risk you're gonna roll a bead off a tire. So Justin brought out the old Bushman trick with the aerosol inside the tire to pop that bead back. But I threw my one little tip in and that's do your line across the top of the tire so you can light that and give the tire a bit of a kick. That way hands are clear of the rim. Come on. There we go. Woo. 
That worked amazingly Is that well. a sideball or not? So there's a little tip for anyone who hasn't seen that before. Always carry deodorant. Hygiene's important while you're out here, but more importantly, if you roll a bead on a tyre, that's the easiest way to get it back on. It's the only way to get it back on. This isn't their first rodeo. Let's get that tyre sorted and get back to it. Good morning. Morning. How are you feeling, Tommy? Is the Simpson, um, is the Simpson getting to you yet? The Simpson is trying to break me. I'm normally a very, very happy person, <laughs> Justin. <laughs> you should see the smile on my face right now. This, you are almost broken this morning after doing that tire. Oh, it was testing me. It's testing me. I think it's not done with this yet, Dave. You loving that Hemi or what? Mate, Hemi, across the sand dunes. Yep, loving it. You couldn't come all the way out here and not have a steer of that thing across the desert, right? Yeah, that's right. I did a bit of begging with Sarah, but she's moved over for a little bit for me. How you feeling, uh, babe? Is he uh, treating your baby all right or what? Yes, Dave's doing the right thing. He's loving it. He needed to try it on the salt flats. Finally, the convoy is out of the soft stuff. Time to air up the tyres and beeline it to the Geo Centre. So here we are on the other side, um, you know, onto the main straight, as, as a lot of people call it. You know, we, we really got through that uh, soft stuff. We had a bit of a hiccup this morning. I rolled a bead. Um, but, you know, we're, we're now, morale is back up. We're ready to go. We're ready to get to Mount Dare, then get to the Geo Centre, and then get to Alice and have a have a nice shower because I stink. The crew are finally out of the desert and the long journey is almost over. After a quick fuel stop at the Mount Dare Hotel, the crew have their sights set firmly on the Geo Centre. We're gonna make this quick, guys. We've got like 30 minutes until that sun sets if you want to see it during the day. Cool. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, this will be sweet. Do you want to hear the irony of this whole situation? When I rolled in here with Hexo and Rob from Hema, this is exactly what happened, exactly the same thing. We were chasing the sun. I'm trying to get in there to um, catch the monument during the daylight. I feel like deja vu. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be awesome with that sun, mate. It's looking good. My last trip out to the Geographical Centre um, with Rob and Clay from X Overland, two really good mates of mine and their team. It was funny, it happened pretty much exactly the same way. We were chasing the light, wanted to get in here uh, to see the monument in the broad daylight. Not far now, guys, couple more corners, we're there. We've just, the sun's just gone behind the ridge. But when I got here, it's, I think it's one of those places every Australian needs to visit, you know. It's as, as important as, say, the Sydney Harbour Bridge or getting that photo at the, at the sign at the tip of Cape York. Uh, you get goosebumps coming out here. It's just, it feels like you've accomplished a massive mission. I can see it. It's right in front of us. Yee-hoo! Wow. Yes. Had to be speedy to get here. The Geographical Centre of Australia team, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. This is awesome. What a good achievement. Ah, that's cool. Oi, look what's on the right there. Told you he wasn't going to leave us. <laughs> there he is. No way. What's yeah. going on? How you going? Fancy I'm seeing you here. How are you? I'm good. We're wondering what if we were going to catch you. Right. We're wondering if we were going to see you. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, we were just yeah. like last. We were like last oh, minute. We're driving know. past it. We have to stop at the geographical centre. Oh, what a small world! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We yeah. thought you guys would have been yeah. in Alice for sure. We've just rolled into the geo centre, and you wouldn't believe it. Um, my old man's here, parked right beside the monument at the flag. 
and he's been waiting for us. Now, he knew that I wasn't going to come through this way and not stop at the Geo Centre. That's how well my old man knows me. Sounds like he's had a hell of a time out in the Simpson as well, but he made it through. He left a couple of days ahead of us. Having left days before the Patriot crew, Rob and Belinda were able to explore the bypass track to the north, eventually finding a track that led them back to the QAA line, completely avoiding the bog hole the crew got stuck in. If you took the map of Australia and you balanced it on a pin, yeah. geographically that is the centre of Australia. Yeah. Like that is, like I was saying to everyone here, this is like Cape Gunner, Cape York. This trip's gonna go down for me as one of the hardest trips that I've ever done and not the hardest trip as far as the terrain goes or the hardest trip in the way of it was just trying, it's been testing. It's like the Simpson Desert just wanted to really beat down on us and test us for everything that we were worth. You know, if this was meant to be a relaxing trip for the whole team prior to getting into race mode, which is really intense and really stressful. Um, this one is gonna go down in the history books as one of the hardest mentally trips that, that I've done so far. Tomorrow is going to be all about testing the race buggy prior to the Fink Desert race. But right now, it's time to make camp and enjoy the spoils this great land has to offer. They've done it. The crew has made it through the desert in time to test the buggy before the big race. It's first light at camp and Justin is especially eager to switch into race mode. Al Springs, we're back. We're back, we made it. We're here. How are you I feeling? Mean, you tired? I'm tired <laughs> and I'm pumped. Hey? Tired but pumped. This is gonna be, yeah. It wouldn't be, it. wouldn't be think if you didn't roll in at two in the morning, would no. it? No, hey? That's it. But, and now we've, we've lost the whole day testing again. That's Finko. That's it, mate. That's it. Feel good to be back, boys? I'm so excited. Like, we've got a brand new car. It's going to be mint. Hopefully, it's going to be mint if we get some seat time. Once yeah. again, we've rolled up to Fink without even driving our race car. I hope you've done a good job, Dave. Well, me too. <laughs> <laughs> should be good. Yeah, it should be. Crossing the Simpson, we were never going to attempt to take the big TH730 with the race car, so TJM kindly offered uh, to pull the car across from the Gold Coast for us. TJM are one of the main sponsors of the Fink event. They handle all of the sweet cars throughout the event, so they ensure that nobody's left on the track and they help out the officials with the safety side. The plan for this afternoon, boys, let's go shake that car down, Dave. Yeah. We'll go run the belts in, uh, get the clutches kind of sorted out if we can, and then tomorrow we'll do a big testing day. Yeah. yeah. Let's just give it a shake down, check everything's all right, everything's working. Here we go. Here we, go. Here we are. Where is my race car? Where is our race car, sorry? Yeah. Pumped? pumped? Oh, yes. Here we go. <laughs> Big baby. Big baby. Morning. Morning, how are you? How are you, mate? Good, so. How you been? Yeah, very good. Jordan, Tommy. How, how are you, mate? Right. Ashton, yeah, good. Christian, hey, Dave, Dave. Hey, Kirby. So, I'm part of the family that owns the place. Been here since 99, so we've lived in Alice Springs for 20 years. So locally owned and run business. We, um, you know, we've been watching Finks and competing, supporting Fink for way longer than we've been involved in the business. Um, you know, we've, these are the, the Finks we've seen. <laughs> Alright, so the car's out the back? It certainly is. Let's go check it out, oh, man. Good. Oh, yeah. There it is, boys. Oh, what do you reckon? Amazing. Here we huh? go. Looks sick, huh? Sight the sore eyes. <laughs> It's so cool to see the buggy finally out here in Alice Springs. This is what this car was built for, you know? It just looks at home. Can't wait to get it out on that red dirt. What do you, what do you reckon? You haven't seen it finished? It's absolutely amazing. Is that beast mode or what? That is. Yeah? Well, my first time seeing the car, it, it looks angry. It looks menacing. It is ready to go down that Fink track. Yeah, it's very angry, isn't it? It's angry. Yeah, the it's thing very looks proper pissed angry. off. Yeah. Looks what do you reckon? It looks business. good, mate. That looks terrific. That's got to be... I'm a bit biased, but I reckon that's the best-looking razor in the country. Mate, you pretty I... close to it, eh? That's, that's awesome, man. It's longer than last year. I was saying wheelbase is really important in this race. If you're too short, you go in the ruts. If you're too long, you've got your wheels either side of the ruts. You need to be 122 inches, they say, is the magic number. If you're close to that, you're riding right on top of those ruts. You're just going to do perfect. They say, mate, if you're not ready the year before, you're not ready. Well, we reckon the car's ready, but the only problem is we haven't run it in, we haven't driven it, I've never... I haven't started it. We don't know what the yeah. suspension's going to do. Yep. Brand new shocks, yep. new yeah. valving. A little bit of testing work. Yeah. 
It's an awesome feeling being back with it. It's 90% ready to go, but the feeling I've got now, I just want to hurry up, get it out there, and then it's ready for a whole day of testing tomorrow. Get Justin used to the feel of this new Turbo S. This race is unlike anything else in yeah. Australia, yeah. if not the world. You, if you, something's going to go wrong, if you're going to have something that you want to test here, yeah. this is the race to do it. Yeah, and yeah. We, we figured that out the past two years. Yeah. But for this year, look, for, for this year, it's all about we've got our own car, we've yep. built the car, we know the car, these yep. two know every nut and bolt, that's, back to front, yeah, inside out. Thing. Yep. The only downside without making excuses is I don't know the car yet. That's, mm. that's how, gonna be our problem yep. this year. I don't know what the thing can and can't do yet. Mm. It's really nerve wracking to turn up here once again to the Fink Desert Race with an untested car. Uh, but circumstantially with everything that was going on back at the office, we couldn't get the car built in time. And me being in the United States, flying back in uh, for the race, um, we're just gonna have to see how it goes. With the buggy loaded up on the Super Ram, it's time to drive the wheels off this thing. With the buggy loaded up on the Super Ram, it's time to get testing. Remember this place from last year? Yep. Yeah, this is familiar. This looks familiar. Do you remember blowing that belt here? Yes. Uh, the first year. The first year? We made it, we're very unexperienced. This place gives me the creeps. Does it give you the creeps? No. Yeah, I, I get excited the, here. Well, I find this, that this, this place is like where, getting set up. where it's like the make or break. This yeah, is where, yeah, it's, where it's going to happen. But I think, mate, I'm, I'm good. I reckon this is going to be good. This is going to be a good year. The crew are heading out to test the new race buggy so they can get completely comfortable with it before the big day. A good shakedown is essential if the team want to have any hope of getting to Fink and back this year. Here we are. Testing. Uh, we're going to be doing some running belts, uh, testing suspension, see what the car's feeling like uh, before we do some real testing tomorrow. To be honest, I'm a, I'm very calm at the moment, and you know I'm feeling really, really good. I know the car's brand new. We just, I just want to get that suspension tweet, but I think we're good. I'm, I'm feeling really, really positive. Here we go, shakedown. So uh, the car's here, we're on the red dirt. We're at, the, at a section of track that we've known um, from last year. Today's just gonna be about running in the belts, a real quick shakedown on the car. We wanna put a couple of hours on it, make sure we wear in all the drive shafts, get the engine, the gearbox, everything all worn in. If everything goes great this afternoon, tomorrow we'll go out for a full test day, get the suspension set up and really hit this thing hard and see what it's capable of doing. First run getting in the car, it was like um, it's like moving into a new house. You know, you don't know where everything is, you don't know where the bedrooms are, you forget where the bathroom is, and that's that's what it feels like jumping into a brand new race car. Right, so do you know how hard this is to drive this thing slow? Yeah, I know. Crest into dip. When I first sat in the race seat, didn't feel quite right. The new buggy, the new setup. You know, I wasn't feeling very confident and I was kind of a bit nervous in to what the rest of the day was going to treat me like. Doesn't feel, doesn't feel like home. No. Nah. Yeah, Tommy feels he's just feeling a bit off in the car, you know? Yeah. I'm yeah. too far forward. I, I had to just do that with the thing last time. Yeah, yeah well, this dynamics are way different the last mm. time, man. This is, this is what we were talking about. We need to get you guys out here and work all this yeah. out. So it's been 12 months since we've been in the race car and getting back into that seat, you know, different car, it's a different feeling. Um, it didn't feel quite like home today. Um, 
You know, it took a bit of time to get sort of stuck into it, you know, sitting in there, mate, you know, remembering the feeling of restriction of being in that seat. Um, yeah, it was, it was a different feeling today. I was, yeah. Dave, I've kind of got it and I've kind of thought about something too, boys. Why don't we not wear in belts until we know this belt's good? We're wearing belts on Friday morning. Let's run all day on this belt and let's go testing all on one belt. Yeah. Um, then we know if we're going to have a belt issue, right? Yeah. And that's... then if that's all good, Friday Friday morning, before scrutineering, we'll just I, go um... running belts for the race. Yep, I'm, co I'm cool with that logic. Look, to be honest with you, everyone's flogged. Everyone's, over the past couple of days, everyone's hammered. We've got some fresh blood flying today. Uh, Michael and Kirby from the office have come in to give us a hand. Um, I think now, seeing the car on the track, though, the morale's definitely picked up again. With initial testing now complete and looking positive, the pit crew have given Justin the all clear to send it. Yeah, the boys, the boys kind of didn't restrain me as much as I thought they would today. Look, everybody's nervous. They want mechanically, they, they want this car to be 100%. They don't want any excuses from me, you know? This year, they want it to be all about my driving ability, not uh, the mechanical side of the car. So they kind of babied me into it. And, uh, that, you know, I kept talking back to them. I respect what those guys do. And I want to ensure that I'm doing the right thing by them. And we work together well as a team. And they let me start picking up the pace. Smoother as we go faster, eh? Yeah. Getting better. That's the trick, though, isn't it? You got yep. like a Formula One car, you got to be on it. You got to be on it for everything to be working as it should, you know. Yep. As the afternoon light fades, the team prepare to make their final laps for the day. Just gonna shake you up here. So crest into dip. Keep it on the track. Only one. Keep it on, hold on to it. Oh, geez. Hold on to it. 82 on the belt temp. 81. 82. Belt temp at 82. Yeah. First run. Um. If that's, if that's an indication of a car that's not set up, I, I think this thing's going to go good. Mm. Because it feels, man, it feels like home already. Okay. Like, honestly, it feels like home. Don't get me wrong, the suspension needs a heap of work. Yeah, yeah. Needs a heap of work, but we, we knew that. Mm. Um, yeah, tuning is needed. It feels, it feels at home. It's Put it this way, it, it feels already not far off last year's car. Cool, okay. I mean, that's good. Cool. You guys happy? Uh, yep. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy for our first run. This is really good. I'm stoked. Yeah. All right, let's get back to the workshop. We'll make a few adjustments. Have a beer. Yeah. And tomorrow we can send. Am I allowed to rev it tomorrow, right. Kerbs? Yeah. When we're, let's get the suspension feeling a bit better. Yeah. And then, yeah, send. And then, and then we'll give it. Yeah. All right, good stuff. Let's get it. And that's a wrap. The first shakedown has been a success. Hopefully tomorrow will be just as successful. But a lot can happen between now and race day. Next time on Patriot Games. The team is in the thick of testing the new race buggy before the Fink Desert race. A Fink legend turns up to share the test track and the pit crew discovers an issue with the buggy build and the whole crew scrambles to find a solution.